Welcome back. In this video, we'll be covering the use of dynamically provisioned GlusterFS volumes from an OpenShift application. If you haven't seen the first part where we deploy container-native storage onto our OpenShift cluster, please click here to view that video. Now, let's create a sample application to take advantage of our recently deployed container-native storage. In this directory, I have a couple YAML files that will describe the storage and the application that will use that storage. So first, we will need to establish a storage class for GlusterFS. Um, this is fairly simple. You just provide the REST URL for Heketi for the Heketi interface and uh, you'll need to specify the requirement, the required parameters for REST user and REST user key. But these are not strictly required for our demonstration, so we're just put, d setting them to arbitrary values. So we go and create the storage class. Next, we want to create a Gluster PVC, or Persistent Volume Claim. Um, this is fairly simple. Uh, the only thing you need to specify is that the persistent volume that will be created will be of 5 gigabytes in size. So we do again OC create dash F GlusterFS PVC and persistent volume claim created. So now you can see at the bottom that the PVC Gluster1 is pending. And if we wait a little bit, we now have a persistent volume for our PVC created with a capacity of 5 gigabytes and a claim of Gluster 1 in our Applo project. So now let we look at creating a sample application. In this case, we're just going to run a simple Nginx pod. with a service and a route attached to it. So at the top you can see our service that will be using port 80 and it will select a pod named nginx pod 1. We also have a route that will serve that will point to the service called nginx. And here we have a simple uh, pod definition for our nginx pod. Um, we obviously use the image for nginx we specify the ports, and of course we specify a volume mount uh, to use our recently created Gluster volume as our HTML storage. And then you specify the volume as a persistent volume claim down at the bottom. All right, so we do OC create dash F and Genex pod and all three resources have been created and if we just wait a little bit for this to change we have an nginx pod running so we can see for instance that we are receiving messages over our service address. And to verify that this is in fact working, we will put some information in an index.html file on the pod itself. This is done via OC exec. We exec to the nginx pod and run a shell command to echo some information to index.html at the appropriate location. And now we can say hello world from GlusterFS. Finally, to show you that we are in fact using GlusterFS under the hood, we will go into the GlusterFS pod itself. And then we can do a check for mounted volumes that are mounted by Heketi. And then 
Let's just grab this one here. And we'll do an ls. And because I know the directory structure, I know that it's under brick. And there's the index.html file. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a video presentation for Red Hat Container Native Storage.